the mother who had taken her baby and put it underneath the pavement, had buried her baby alive, has been arrested. At least the suspect has been arrested. This is from ABC7.com. December 7th on Monday, the article was written, but it happened November 27th in Los Angeles. The mother of a newborn girl was who was found buried alive in Compton last month has been charged with attempted murder and child abuse. The L.A. County District Attorney's Office said Porsche LaRonda Washington, age 33, was arrested Thursday and then is being held in lieu of a half a million dollar bail at the Century Regional Detention Facility in Linwood. On November 27th, two women called the Compton Sheriff's Station after hearing a baby crying in the riverbed near 136th Street and Slater Avenue. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department urges anyone who may be in a difficult situation with a child to surrender them at any hospital or fire station in the county. No questions asked. For information, call 877-222-9723 uh, or visit babysafela.org. The baby was found by two ladies walking by. They nicknamed the baby Baby Grace. And they it, see they were lucky that two women heard the baby and happened to pass by. If they were not alert or not called for help, we may have lost this precious life. Uh, Evangela McCrary of Compton is one of the women who first heard the baby's cries while taking a walk. McCrary prays to God, blesses the baby, and finds a loving family. Authorities say the baby may have just been a day old when she was found and almost certainly wouldn't have survived much longer. This makes me think about abortion. While I am pro-choice, I do believe that it should be rare, safe, and legal. So rare, safe, and legal. And with pro-choice advocates, we need to be very specific with the time frame. The baby could be viable outside the mother's body when it's only, you know, um, what, 20 weeks or something. So if you're going to get taken care of, you need to get taken care of soon because what's the difference had this woman got an abortion two days prior than it having, then it would have been acceptable, but she had the baby, and now she's going to be convicted of murder. And so I think pro-choice advocates need to be specific, and, or they're going to lose. We're going, we're going to lose this debate. The Republicans have cut funding for Planned Parenthood. Also, with uh, uh, child abuse, if you don't care about the baby's life, then you're not going to care about its body. And while I am including this in bloody news, there was no bloodshed. So, you know, thank God for that. The reason why I'm doing this daily bloody news is because that's what America wants. This is what, the if it bleeds, it leads. If it's gory, it's a story. This gives, you know, people, they can look down on it. But if that's all we do is look at the bloodshed and the bad things and we're not celebrating the good, then we will, you know, this this is a... The culture is a little bit sick. It's a little bit sick. So I'm going to do the stories, but I'm going to always have something to say at the end of every one of them. Porsche LaRonda Washington, she didn't want to deliver the baby. They said she was afraid. She did not want people to know that she was pregnant. And they, in L.A., has a baby safe surrender program that allows those who have lawful custody of newborns 20 or 72 hours and younger to leave infants in the care of hospitals or fire stations without fear of penalty. This had happened because in 2001, when the program was first enacted, 11 abandoned babies had died in L.A. County and other three infants who were abandoned survived, according to the data from the office of L.A. Count Supervisor Don Navy, Navy, who has been a major supporter of the program. Through December 2nd of this year, 16 babies have been dropped off and four abandoned newborns have survived. There are no known cases this year of which an abandoned infant has died in L.A. County. So we 